Okay, we're back with more Quiet Mountain 3. Quiet Mountain 3. Hey. Unfortunately, there is no Quiet Mountain 3, actually. What? Why not? Well, because I think only Quiet Mountain 2 exists. Okay. Matt, you're low on health and your bullets are, are spent. Yeah. Sure is. But I think it's about time to show the thrusting attack. Oh my god. That you told me didn't exist. I told you I didn't think it existed. <laughs> that is a very different thing. What is it? It's tapping forward with okay, the thing. Okay, it now to be fair to every single person might not know this, it's really <laughs> stupid. So yeah, actually hold your ready, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you press forward and you just do that, you press forward and that, you just do that. Yeah. Uh if you press uh forward and 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 one button, it does it, it you have to hold it. You have to hold the attack button. If you press forward and attack, it does that. So you have to hold forward, run, like walking, and then hold the button. That's the only way you can do it. That's awesome. The game doesn't tell you, so that's cool. Now leather is leather. Leather! Now leather is learning how to... Oh, fuck it. Oh, leather, the baby scientist, katana-wielding teen. All right. She's diverse in her uh, interests. I think we have to go out here. Yeah, you gotta meet. Gotta uh, you gotta meet Douglas in the parking Doug lot. Douglas said he's gonna take us on a creepy. Uh, Give him a handy creepy... before getting on the road. No, Douglas. A handy like katana. That. No. <laughs> I just met some guy named Vincent. Vincent. He's a friend of yours, right? No. No. I'm not sure. <laughs> He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. And he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. I love how long this drive takes because it it's so unclear how long they're on the road. You have no idea where they started or how like where maybe an hour. is. Maybe five. Or maybe multiple days. Right. Maybe they were in fucking California, who knows? I wanna play that game where you're rain. just driving. Are you sleeping? I'm awake. You cold? What's the deal with Silent Hill <laughs> It used to be a nice, quiet little town. <laughs> but now... You've been there? Once. On a missing persons case. Never did find him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work... You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? Feeling sick? Pounding like the worst hangover ever. Maybe your car sick. No, I'm just trying to remember my childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. I tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. Oh, that's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. Huh? You 
You see, that girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, that god was killed by a single person. My father, Harry Mason. Because it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you too? No, I can't. After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. He loved me just like I was his very own daughter. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. was so sudden. I never had a chance to tell you, to tell you how happy you made me. So, did you play Silent Hill 1? No, don't worry about it. That there you go. Call you up. I'm going to head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. Alone. You got the map, right? Yeah. You going to be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? You're right. I am afraid. I'm 50 something years old. I had never seen nothing like this. I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke already. back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. All right, finally made it to Silent Hill. I have a few observations I'd like to talk about. Go for it. Uh, so... Before we go outside, because you said we're in, we're in fucking Silent Hill Well, now. you can tell from the window. Because it's already kind of foggy outside. Uh, that cutscene, specifically in the car, was awesome. Yeah, it's really like, fantastic. A, it was fucking funny, because what's the deal with Silent Hill anyway? Is <laughs> just... I guess at the time that wasn't funny, but now it's just like I've always... That's what well, I Well, it, it's, it's at the time, it's, it's like there were only two, two stories that took place there, right? And it, we're still in that era where... People that you run into who talk about Silent Hill, like it's a weird but completely normal town. You mm. definitely want to save after that cutscene. Yeah, sure. sure. Um, but now that we're like 
eight or nine games in plus a film plus two films two plus two films plus a bunch of comics a bon dessiné like one of the things i really like is that giving giving a uh, uh, your your sidekick or whatever the pi job mm-hmm. like gives you a little bit of an edge to like have him just believe whatever bullshit you say yeah because yeah i saves I'd, time i believe pis would hear a lot of weird shit all the time yeah Especially in a universe like this in which magic and, and ancient evils and shit is super real. No, for sure. Um, but aside from all that, that cutscene was just awesome where the water on the fucking car windows looks awesome. The lighting looks great. Her voice acting, especially when she said no offense taken, when he was like, oh, Silent Hill, it's, what a shit It's shitberg. really quiet and really understated. It's really nice. The music. Yeah. And the, the fact that it was a big plot dump. And that that's a nice, like kind of breather after doing like a slogging through like a million uh, like uh, floors of that yeah. apartment complex and uh, just getting to the scene like that was a really nice cut scene. You can see that the exact same oh, scene done poorly in both Silent Hill 1 the movie and Silent Hill Re- Revelations the film mm. in which scenes that are incredibly similar to that take place. Mm. One is a white uh, in the first movie it's uh, flash white to a, ch- a, f- uh, a child talking over flashback footage, and it's pretty much the same scene. Yeah. And then in the second one, it's like him, uh, it's uh, Heather and uh, Jon Snow in a car. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're they're trying again to do it, <laughs> and he's like, but he's Vincent in that, so it's slightly oh, different. Oh, it's true. I forgot that he's Vincent in that. So do we ever see uh, what's his face again? Douglas. I no, not Doug. Oh, sorry. Harry? Uh, yeah, Vincent. Do we ever see him again in this game? Oh, Vincent? Absolutely. He's all over the place. Not Leonard? Oh, well, you'll meet Leonard, too. Oh, okay, okay. I thought Vincent only appears in like one cutscene or something. Let's check out Dad's note. Dad wrote about my past in here. As always, this should be... <laughs> what? Harry Mason's original backstory in Silent Hill 1 was that he was a writer. Oh. He's basically supposed to be Stephen King man. Right, right, right. Intelligent notebook. Simple works. I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this, before I'm lost in death and oblivion. Go ahead. Well, what happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the road. Since we were childless, we thank God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to her original self, that's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God, Alessa Gillespie. Yeah, Alessa. Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby, in that girl of mine, of ours. Seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alyssa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into the sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alyssa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence was at stake. Were at stake, rather. But that wish was not granted. My interpretation meant that she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dolly did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alessa. I, I, was, I was there, yeah, but was I didn't there. really do anything. Yeah. I just helped. Newly born God wailed once and was dead. All, all from that girl's and probably Alessa's conscious resistance. I like that that implies that the final boss fight in Silent Hill 1 has almost nothing to do with Harry yeah, at all. Yeah, Harry maybe like, like punched he, it. He shot it a couple times, but, but really it. it was like inevitable. Yeah. That's not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. The baby. The baby. Now 17 years have passed. feels like only yesterday and again feels like a million years ago. It's a good line. I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly, un- thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my hands around her little, tiny little throat. Jesus. Yep. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she, when you look at me, you laugh. So even now, I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. Well, for, yeah. 
You just said you... Okay. Oh, hey, man. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. Who hasn't wanted to kill a loved one at some point? You know what? <laughs> Not with choking. I, That's an intimate There, form there are of times murder. when you look over at your significant other as they're asleep, and they're, like, dead asleep, and you're like, boy, that pillow be so easy. I haven't thought about that. Oh, okay. Have I thought about that with you or Wooly or Liam or myself? When, when am I fucking sure. dead asleep around you? Very yeah, rarely. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you feel scratching at your window, oh, boy. that's me, motherfucker. Anyway, um, the other thing I want to talk about, like, uh, really, really briefly before we go outside is, um, did you say I, again? I should probably, yes, did I did. It. Okay. I'll, I'll equip a, a weapon though while I'm here. Why not? Yeah. Um, uh, so pipe. Um, I like that because it's a weird thing. And it's a little annoying that you'd have to re-equip your weapon. But if you don't, if you don't have to re-equip your weapon, it's like was she holding this katana in the car ride all the way over? I wish, I wish that cutscene would have the fucking like the shotgun like cocked against Douglas's head. That's fucking. All stupid. right. So the first Silent Hill game, you know, it's the story that they just explained. The second one doesn't seem to actually have much to do with the that. The second one has it's literally like side, nothing to do with that. It's a side story. It then is. This one returns to the plot of the first, and then the then fourth, the fourth one's is a side again story. a side story. And if you even want to go past that. That, uh, fucking homecoming, which is, is five. Five is basically a it's continuation about the cult again. of the cult. And then after that is shattered memories. Oh uh, yeah, which is a retelling, but that doesn't count. And then, then after that have, is downpour. No, after that is uh, fucking uh, Silent Hill Zero, which is oh, about Legends, the cult of course, again. Of course, of course. And then but, you have so then you have um, but at downpour at the end, which is a side story. The four team silent games. It seemed to go back and forth. It did. Cool. All right. And it's like in one, in two and did four. I, he gave me a map, yeah. He sure fucking did. Of what? Silent Hill? Of the whole town. Oh, I can't wait to see my house. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not that part of town. <laughs> Damn it. And that's not even Silent Hill. That's Shepherd's Glen. Damn it. You're totally right. All right. Now you probably remember this place. Toluca Lake. I remember that. Yeah, okay. Now go back to the smaller map. Okay, there's the motel. Jack's Inn is the one across the street from the park where you met Maria. To down to the bottom right, it's the Blue Creek Apartments where we we ran into Pyramid Head the first time. Yeah, Blue, Pete's yeah, Bowl of Ramas was, where we hung out Pete's with uh, with uh, uh, um, with uh, uh, Eddie. 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 The boat launch is where that that fucking pair of legs shot out at you over yeah. the fence. And what we wanted to do is go to the Brookhaven Hospital. That's correct. Hey, Brookhaven. I assume that has some because I've seen a couple of horror things with Brookhaven in the name. There's it like sounds that. Cthulhu-y. Yeah, it does. It sounds uh. St- uh so uh, I don't. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not 100% sure, but there was a car in the middle of this motel parking lot that I used as a save point at the end of, like, episode 8 of our so Silent Hill 2 you just want to see LV. if there's a car here? No, no, it's very likely gone. God. It's this even is fucking misty as it's shit. It's even darker than during the nighttime. Which is stupid. Now, nah, let's get out of here, Matt. I just want to look around. Yeah. But, like, nah, there's nothing. this is a moment that... Uh, and Silent Hill Zero has a similar moment where, uh, or origin. They whatever. checked in. Okay, I wa- I was gonna talk about that afterwards. What? But, but yes, they well, checked that, that, in. That implies there's a guy. That implies there are guy. Shit, I can't believe I turned all the way around. That missed. Right. Holy shit. They checked into a a proper like room. What is one of the dick monsters at the desk with a little cap? Well, is is Douglas even seeing that? Yeah, that's true. Was but he knows it's all fucked up, and he knows he has no chance to beat Silent Hill. Okay, but but also was that lo- was it normal when you guys rolled in and then you went to bed and then you woke up and it was weird? Like it's really, really unclear as to what is happening at any particular time. Mm. It's a lot like Bloodborne in that respect, where uh, yeah, uh, Bloodborne yeah. is. Like, okay. There's the office. Where's the dream? Where's the nightmare? Uh, What's the line between those two things? Is the version of Yarnum that you're in real? Is it oh, is it altered? Et cetera, All right? All right, let's do it. You got to get yourself to the Brookhaven Hospital. That's right. the way. That's the way. Oh, God. It's... Oh, jeez. This also reminds me of, like, I remember seeing a video of someone just, like, saying vicious bugs in... HD collection, and they'd be wandering around this area. Run, Matt. 
Oh, I wanted to try my stabs. But there's lots of them. Okay, there's lots of them. Uh, and th this crashing every three minutes. Yeah. It was great. It was very good. You can follow the, 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 follow the edge right. of that sidewalk until you see a turn. The here? Yeah. Yeah, you can just go. You just go. Oh. I forgot that you're you're slow and weak. Uh, yes, I'm. All, I'm both those things. I'm slow and weak, and fast and quiet. Quiet. Uh, so I have a problem. Like I, I haven't really talked about this too much. It happens to a lot of guys. It. Aside from this, Patrick. <laughs> um, in the movie. Well, th like then I, we all have a problem, don't we? All I, right, in let's In the movie, go. I kind of feel that. If if it's all misty like this, yeah. there shouldn't be monsters running around doing the rounds. Yeah, I feel when the sirens go off and it's nightmare time, that makes that logically makes more sense to me in a weird way. Where I'm like, yes, why would the monsters be wandering around for no reason when there's no one here? Mm -hmm. But when it's nightmare time, then that makes more sense to me because all the monsters come out because the evil's coming out. I and actually whatever. find that to be like one of the biggest problems in the original Silent Hill film, where I am uh, because it has the same problem that. Uh, okay, let me let me think about how to explain this. You know how Please in uh, Amnesia Please. and Soma, there's a really hard line in the sand between this is a monster section and this is a story yes, explanation yes, section. Yes, yes, yes. Despite being a film, Silent Hill has that same problem. And when this is where the bodies come flinging over the side, it looks similar. Uh, and and when you're when it's like when the nightmare's happening, you're like, okay, maybe one of these side characters will die, right? But also, at a at a certain point, you realize that the nightmare leaves every time. Uh, I think her name is Rose is about to get fucking killed. Yeah. And you're like, oh, so you got a real good look at them that time. Those things are awful. They're real awful. Take a right. I don't, I don't mean scary. You're getting close to that hospital. In fact. Wait, no, I'm not. Oh, I am. Very close. Is there anything in like Heaven's Night or Pizza Bowl around? Can I As do you can tell, there? the Rosewater Park is sealed off. Yeah. Uh, so are those two locations. You, you can't go in either. You can't really go. On. Like okay. they're they're here to be like, look, you're in the same part of town. Right, right, that's it. But like, yeah, it's it's you're, you're not able to interact with a lot of the areas that uh, that James did. Oh, there it is. Uh, Aside from the hospital that he totally went into. Can you do it, Matt? Yes, you can. Okay. So in uh, in Silent Hill Zero, they do the exact same thing. We're about uh, in the the third fourth of the game. You go to the Alcamilla Hospital, and it's the same layout, but it's Alcamilla. been remixed. Um, re 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 remix. Oh, great! What's all this then? Are there gonna be nurses off the bat? I don't know. Yes. yes. So, I actually really like these nurse designs. Um, so in Silent Hill 1, there were nurses and doctors. Oh shit! And they were all uh, parasitized, right? They all had weird, horrible growths growing out of their backs. In 2, nurses were dressed like, kind of revealingly, and their heads looked like weird condoms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in Silent Hill 3, they looked like horrific, evil nurses which would like it fits a little better with like what like Alessa would think of them yeah no that makes sense I mean, uh, that was, they also that was, have okay. a really intense audio cue compared to a lot of other stuff yeah, a little intense there I would agree uh, I think I got hit at least once there uh, that's fine for now so I this, map. Be this being the hospital you're gonna have to A find the map and B Check a shit ton of doors. Also, there's your map. Hey, record time. Jesus, fuck me. Isn't that nice and familiar? It's a lot. I got a hospital map. Sun, the, the, the sunny fun time. Jesus. That's a fucking yeah. evil one. Well, because now, now you're in Silent Hill, right? Oh, okay. Now those things aren't just like... So now they're bubbling. They're not, but they're not hastily drawn bullshit on the wall or like on a newspaper. Like these are proper fucking set symbols. Like somebody worked, worked on that. Yeah, that was I a long so. weekend. 
Look, you're gonna have to come in and paint the save symbols on every surface, and you got make it look scary. Can you guys earn your paycheck for one? Okay, sorry, sir. All the dick monsters like get out the little paint brushes in their mouths. They're like, oh, if I knew this was gonna be this tough, why wouldn't you fucking done this? Uh, let's go for apartment hall. So I just checked out the wiki. There's some cool stuff about these nurses that links them to the Silent Hill One ones. Okay. Uh, they they move Can't. almost like they're puppeted, like they're very ungainly, mm -hmm. uh, and they have a lot more blood on their outfit alongside their spine, okay. which is where they had the weird growths in the first game. Gross. Gross indeed. Yeah. She's like, she even her head there just snapped to it. Like, That's an evil one. Nurse comes up to you, and is like. I got this horrible possessing growth on my back. I need money to go to Toronto for an operation. <laughs> I haven't found Leonard so yet. So you cannot leave. No idea if there's any point to it or not, but I'll try looking anyway. Okay. So, like, I feel, I feel like if I was Heather and the most... And God of, knows one day most you will of the, be. Most of the t town was, like, kind of fucked up, but, like, semi-normal. And I came to this hospital and the hospital was really, really fucked up. I'd be like, Leonard's probably here. Yeah. I have a question. I assume we're going to be spending a good chunk of time in the hospital. That's It's the next zone. And um, and it's probably a lot of hallways like this. Many. It would probably behoove me to kill more things if yes. I have to go back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. It's a troll doll. I'm a troll man. Uh. Dinna, 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 dinna. Okay. The day has finally come. That's right. The day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. Huh? Never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prized doll I made to commemorate our meeting, the start of this everlasting love. Uh, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. So you gave me a creepy Thanks, action Stanley. Figure. What was that? Can I look at it? Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> That's great. That's good stuff. That's not even a 10 foot pole, man. I don't have anything that's 10 foot. Yeah. I got a steel beam, but that's it. This lovely plant. It's just a flower pot. Nothing special. I don't know what kind of flower that is. I'm I want it to grow legs and become like a silent I'm not monster. some kind of goddamn oh, wait, scientist. Yeah. All, she clearly isn't. But whatever. Get out of here. Since that's all that's in here. Looks like. Try this. The, is, this is a creepy fanboy letter. Can you try that doll again? I don't remember. Try it again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Disgusting. I guess that's all that's in here. And this shame stool. Yeah.